everyone. I have a singular piece of hair that decided to be crazy right there. Um, I am going live here today because I am going to whack through that post of recommendations that you had of different brands that are outside of the US that you wanted me to review. Now I had planned to do this big, long, thorough post and all of this, but I thought, you know what? I am actually going to do this live. I am going to walk through these brands that you want to know what I think about them live so that you can see my reactions. You can see exactly what I look for and where I go right on the website when I am reviewing and assessing a company to see if I want to buy from them or not. Now, I know I have done this, not gone live, but I have assessed different brands in the U.S., and you can find that information at using eossafely.com slash brands. But I do get asked pretty frequently of my recommendations for brands outside of the U.S. So you Canadians, you, you Australians, um, those of you from the U.K., you wanted to know my feedback. So here it is. I am going to be going live. I am live. But I'm going to be doing this for each link that you shared. So when I'm done with the first company, I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to go live again. And that way, as we get more questions in the group about specific companies, then these will now be our linking posts so that you can get your answers directly from me. Now, the first one that I will be doing, I'm wondering if I can, you know what? I'm going to do this. Give me one second because I am going to, I just went live in the recipes club. Um, let me, let me do this. So we have mystic moments. I'm going to actually edit this so that you guys can see the name of where let's, let's do that one of where I am assessing of who I'm assessing. So here we go. All right. So let me share my screen with you. I have not previously. Okay. To be honest, Yesterday, I did click on this one time and I that's all I did. I went to right to their homepage and then I realized, you know what? I'm going to do this live. So I have not clicked on any of these. So I have no idea half of what's even here. So let's go to the first one, Mystic Moments. You know what? Let me shut, at least take my name off because that's going over my face. I don't know if that's bugging you guys. So this is Mystic Moments. Now, this is one that I am not familiar with. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, it looks like they're located in the UK because I'm seeing this, that symbol there. Um, yes, okay, it, they're located in Hampshire. All right, so this is their website. Let me zoom in just a little bit for those of you on mobile so that you guys can see as well. Um, really good what I'm seeing. So what I like to do is I like to go to their, okay, essential oils. Let's go to the singles first. So we have essential oils here. Um, okay, so this is one I'm not familiar with. Anathai, Ejoan, some of these I'm, I haven't heard of. Um, Amaris, Angelica Root. Okay, so I'm seeing here some essential oils that have a lot of safety information. Sorry, a lot of safety issues, I should say. Ooh, Cade. I'm glad that's rectified. Camphor, Kaninga. Okay, Cedarwood. I'm just, I'm just looking for essential oils that I haven't seen before. Okay, so some of these are new. So what I like to do is I like to assess the safety. So let me, an easy one that I like to grab first is the bergamot. So I like to click on there and see if they mention anything about phototoxicity. So it looks like they're not mentioning anything about phototoxicity. They are mentioning not to use pure oils on the skin without diluting, never use internally, keep away from children and eyes, always check if there are any medical issues which would cause a problem, seek help if you have any doubts. I'm going to guess 
that this is their disclaimer that they have on probably all of their profiles. So for me, that's not really great because it's not telling you that if you purchase this bergamot essential oil, um, actually bergamot calabrian, <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> um, that if you purchase this, that you could potentially have phototoxic issues. Having a general disclaimer like this, we all tend to ignore them, right? So that to me is not very meaningful and not giving me the safety information that I'm looking for. And I'm not looking, okay, so these are just different sizes. Okay, so that is kind of like a mark off right there because they're not telling me that this is phototoxic. It does say it can cause severe burns with sunlight. Okay, where did I miss that? Because I completely did not see that at all. Let me go back. Where is that? I do not see that here at all. I guess I'm totally blind. Okay, Crystal, you're gonna have to tell me, you're gonna have to screenshot and add it to the comments because I literally am not seeing anywhere here where they're talking about, about that at all. I don't see that anywhere here. So right in the cautions, I'm not seeing cautions. <laughs> okay, I clearly have never been to this website. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, this is cold pressed, so this would be phototoxic. I'm not seeing it. Right in the cautions. I don't see any cautions. I don't see it. Okay, thank you. I, I don't know. I I mean, it says don't use without diluting, but it doesn't say anything about phototoxicity. It doesn't say anything with severe burns with sunlight. Um, I mean, I'm literally, I'm, I don't, it's, it's not here. Cold press middle light, this, medium, this, this. I literally am not seeing it. Are we clicking on the same link? <laughs> I do not see it. I could be blind. I am open to correction. So go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? You might have been clicking on a different one. Okay, there's three different bergamots here. That could be why. Now, this is bergaptin free, which tells me it's not phototoxic. Okay, so it's cold pressed. Undergoes molecular distillation to produce bergamot bergaptin free oil. In which case, this would not be phototoxic. This would not cause burns. So this one would be the preferred one to purchase. We have the bergamot Sicilian. Perhaps this is the one that has the caution on it. I'm not seeing the caution on this one either. Okay, moving on. Bay Laurel. Now, some of these that I don't come across every single day, I like to look up what the safety is. So we have Bay Laurel, which is Loris Nobilis. Is that under Laurel then? L -M -M -O. Laurel Leaf, okay. So this is one I'm looking in my essential oil safety files that is for ages 10 plus, has a 0.5% topical max, potentially carcinogenic, avoid topically if skin is damaged or broken, and do not use around your pets. So let me see if that is reflected here at all. Now it does say has a high eugenol content and may irritate the skin and mucous membranes. That's kind of half the story. Um, if you are not aware that eugenol could be a concern and be potentially carcinogenic, this is not gonna mean a whole lot to you. You are probably going to look at this and go, okay, so if my skin gets irritated, I'll stop using it. Now your skin may never be irritated, but there still could be issues. 
Um, the other thing is it does have a 0.5% topical max and I'm not seeing that here either. So, okay. Um, so the link, uh, bergamot organic essential oil, we must be looking at different links. We must be. I'm seeing three different bergamots here and I'm not seeing um, the organic one that you were mentioning. So we must be looking at three different links. <laughs> okay, so the other one is birch essential oil, sweet birch. Now I know that has a lot of issues. Let me just show you guys here. It's blood thinning, etc. Okay, so let me make sure. Yeah, Batula lenta. So birch, according to my essential oil safety files here, um, is for ages 10 plus, 2.5% topical max. Now, birch and wintergreen have very similar, if not identical, safety profiles. So just an FYI. Anticoagulant, do not use with aspirin or other blood thinners before and after surgery. Avoid with salicylate sensitivity, ADD, ADHD. Do not recommend ingesting, especially if you have GERD. Do not use if pregnant, if breastfeeding, and do not use around your pets. So let's see what they say here about the safety. Um, okay, so they only have their generic dilute, don't use internally, keep away from children. They do not have anything specific about this essential oil that would make you um, understand the seriousness of using this essential oil and what it could be potentially doing to you if you use it. So not cool with that. Um, let's go ahead with camphor because they don't always give you the chemotype and there are three different kinds of camphor, um, here. So there's nothing. Okay. So they do say camphor oil is powerful and should be used with care. Overdosing can cause convulsions and vomiting. Pregnant woman or person suffering from ep epilepsy and asthma should not use it. Okay. The problem that I have with should be used with care is people don't know what that means. They're not going to know. You have to dilute it ridiculously low. There are certain um, chemo types of camphor that should not be used at all. Um, so they are saying, you know, this could be problematic for some people, but they're not being specific. I like specifics. I know as a consumer, I think you probably also prefer specifics because you want to know if you don't have my safety book, you aren't going to know if this is going to be okay for you to use. Now, cardamom is another one that's ages 10 plus. Um, and I'm not seeing any ages on here at all. Just your generic disclaimer. So let me see what else I have here. Okay, cassia is a blood thinner. Let's see if they happen to mention that. Now, it does say dermal irritant, dermal sensitizer, and mucous membrane irritant and must be avoided in pregnancy. Okay, but it, there's a little bit more to it though. Um, let me just show you guys. Yeah, the, it's a 0.05% topical max. So it is true. It, it can irritate your skin. It can sensitize your skin. It's a mucous membrane irritant. But what is that telling you? Are you still wanting to purchase this? Are you going to use caution? Um, there's nothing kind of warning you about if you are on blood thinners, you need to be careful. Um, it's not recommended for pregnancy, correct, but you also shouldn't use it if you ha are on diabetes medication. If you're using aspirin, it is anticoagulant and I'm not seeing that warning here. Um, Let's just check out a couple more, but so far I am not impressed personally. Cinnamon bark should have the same safety issues as being anticoagulant. So it does say to use with dilution, but it's not telling you how much to dilute it. Is this helpful for you or not? Like, I don't know. I mean, you guys have to make up your, your minds if, if this is a place you want to purchase from or not. Is this giving you the whole story? Does this make you feel comfortable that they are aware of the concerns? Um, does this make you feel confident that you can purchase these essential oils and use them according to their directions and stay safe? They are recommending a skin patch test. That's fine. Um, but there's other issues. Let's see. 
cumin, curcuma, curry, cypress, stevanna, cypriol. Okay, so let's take a look at eucalyptus. Radiata, or radiata, however you want to pronounce it. It does say used in dilution, avoided in pregnancy. See, it doesn't have to be avoided during pregnancy, but it does need to be avoided on children under the age of 10. They are saying it's toxic if taken internally, non-irritant and non-sensitive. Avoid if you have high blood pressure, epilepsy. Not true about the high blood pressure. Interesting, they did have that about epilepsy, which is true. Um, hmm. I think they need some refining on their safety issues. Oh, fennel sweet. I love this one. This is potentially carcinogenic. Um, avoid use in sun? What? Not fennel? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, um, let me look at a couple of their blends. I like to do this because I like to see if they are, um, giving you good recommendations as far as what essential oils that they are using, if they even make sense to use in such a blend, as well as the safety. But given really the lack of safety slash accurate safety information in their singles profiles, I'm probably not going to be happy with their um, safety information for their blends either. Okay, so for anxiety, lavender, rosewood, bergamot, and ylang, -ylang I'm okay with that. That is, that, that I'm okay with. Um, let me see how they recommend that you use it. Um, okay, they're recommending, of course, that you never use pure oils on the skin without diluting. So that's their generic line they have on everything, which is good. It protects them a little bit. Um, let's see. I just want to know how they're recommending that you use this. Blended, blended, blended. Okay. In an oil burner or mix at 3% with a carrier oil for body application. So they're really not... An oil burner is not going to be very intense. So that might not be very effective for you if you have anxiety. What you do want is a personal inhaler. That's going to be more effective for you. But the essential oils in their blend, I'm happy with. That could be very well useful for lots of people that do have anxiety. Aphrodisiac blends, let me see. Lavender, orange, patchouli, ylang, -ylang and cedarwood. I'm okay with that too. Ylang, -ylang is, is an aphrodisiac. Patchouli can be an aphrodisiac. I know for some people you don't like it at all. Um, I would probably have those higher up in the blend than lavender personally. Um, but that's not too bad. So it looks like that they are, this is probably a generic thing they're recommending is oil burner or 3% with a carrier oil. I mean, the only concern with topical application, number one, is not as effective as inhalation for as an aphrodisiac or um, the previous one, anxiety, as well as, you know, is the ylang, -ylang diluted enough? Ylang, ylang has a 0.8% topical max. So if you are using this blend in a 3% dilution, is the ylang, -ylang going to be under that 0.8% max? We don't know. And I don't know if they know enough to know either. Um, so let's see, blocked nose. I can probably guess what's in this blend, right? Eucalyptus. Yes! Eucalyptus, peppermint, and lavender. That's interesting. Um, small diluted drops may be applied to chest and under nose. Remember, always dilute. I am happy to see that they are mentioning several times about diluting the essential oils. So that would be a mark in their favor is that they are recommending to dilute. So I'm liking that. Um, so it looks like, you know, they, they do have a little bit of an idea, but it seems like whoever is, is running um, the company slash whoever is putting out these suggestions could pay to get certified or, um, you know, just have some more safety guidelines in here than they currently have. So there's, there's nothing saying that that should not be used on under age 10. That would be my recommendation if you use that blend not on under age 10 due to the eucalyptus in the blend. So let me find another blend here. Um, circulation. Let's check that out. Rosemary, sage, and coriander. Rosemary is great for circulation as long as it's the cineol chemotype. 
Sage has issues um, with safety, depending on which Sage it is. And it doesn't appear as if there's any warnings for that particularly. Um, it's suggesting for circulation that you massage it into particular points around the body. Okay, that's not too bad. It is recommending soles of feet, which for circulation, you know, if you if you need your if you need circulation going in your feet is not a terrible thing. Pulse points on your wrists and your lymph nodes. Not too bad. See, the problem I have with thing with blends for like things like confidence and courage. Essential oils are really going to help you with that. You may think they do, and it could be more of a placebo thing, but essential oils are more scientific than that. They're they're more specific than that. Um, so we did a congestion one. Oh, so there was a breathe one, and now there's a congestion one. Let me see what the difference is. Oh, okay, so there's different things in here. So there's wintergreen, which does have many safety issues. Um... Oh, it can help ease the symptoms of conditions such as cold and flu, sinusitis, hay fever, and other allergic reactions. Kajaput. Let me see what the safety is for that. That one I don't come across too often, and I always need to look things up if I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so that is also for 10 plus years. Um, clove bud topically can have some issues. It's also a blood thinner. Eucalyptus 10 plus, peppermint 6 plus. So this is interesting. So mentha arvensis, I believe, is corn mint, not a true peppermint. So it's interesting that they have peppermint, mentha arvensis, and then they have piperita mentha, mentha piperita. <laughs> mentha piperita is peppermint, and then they have wintergreen. And can also be inhaled. Yes, inhalation is going to be the most effective way to use essential oils for congestion. Let me just go on another random page. And see what they have. Did I click or not? Is it going to click through? There we go. Okay, now we've talked recently about essential oils not actually boosting the immune system, although they can be great at germ killing. Um, mental clarity. So let me go ahead and click on this one. Essential oils can be useful for mental clarity. So we have bergamot, grapefruit, bergamot, basil, and lemon. Basil is a great one. Um, I mean, this could work for some people. These are citrus essential oils, which can promote energy. So it can stimulate your brain a bit as well. Um, okay. But this is best inhaled. This is definitely best inhaled. So they do have their generic, um, oil burner 3% dilution. Okay. You know, I guess as long as you know your safety, you can pretty much purchase essential oils from anywhere. But just as a whole, you know, looking at the different blends and the names and stuff, some of these essential oils are not going to be helpful for. That's just the way it is. Um, their blends could use help. Their safety profiles could use help on their single essential oils. It looks like they also sell fragrance essential oils. That's interesting. Infused essential oils. Huh, that's cool. That's cool. And then they have a ton of other products as well, which I'm not going to assess because essential oils is the thing that I, I do assess. Okay, so we have organic essential oils. So I'm going to guess, Crystal, this is probably where you were clicking. So let me click on the bergamot as well and see. There we go. Bergamot oil can cause severe burns when used on sensitive skin that has been exposed to sunlight due to the high bergaptine content. It's not just sensitive skin though, it's any skin. But that is great that they have that over here. Not sure why they don't have it on their other one. That makes me curious to actually click on the organic ones and see maybe they have more information over here. So this one is pretty much the same. So. Yeah, if you are looking for this website to give you accurate safety information on the specific essential oils, if you are looking for this website to let you know and warn you if you should not use if pregnant, if you should not use with children of specific ages, 
if you are on blood thinners, this website's not going to tell you that. So you are going to want to grab a copy of Essential Oil Profiles, or you are going to want a copy of um, Essential Oil Safety Files so that you can look up the information yourself and then know how to safely use the essential oils. Um, so if you have any questions about anything that I said, if you have specific questions about specific essential oils or specific essential oil blends from this website, feel free to ask in the comments below. Again, this is specifically for the Mystic Moments brand um, that are located in the UK. So don't ask me about other brands. I can't answer that in this post. Um, yeah, so it says makes no sense why it was there and not the other, right? So they need to hire somebody that knows what they're doing to go over each and every one of their profiles and give safe and accurate recommendations, you know, so that you guys as customers know what you're getting into when you purchase those essential oils. So I hope you liked my assessment. I will be going live next to assess the next brand that somebody has recommended. So enjoy.